All right, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today man This is a good one. Trust me drop a like if you guys want to see more videos like these because I know That these videos are very helpful to a lot of people whether it's now 24th of August or either even 24th of September Close to the release of the game It's going to be a video that's going to be very helpful for the next couple weeks and months We don't actually have any gameplay. We're just going to be showing you guys the cards Obviously um, these aren't confirmed ratings just so you guys know I kind of just changed the stats are based on kind of the seasons they had and kind of just messed around with it okay uh but drop a like on this video if you guys want to see some more overpowered uh players either pertaining to the league or just the game in general and then like more expensive players something like that you can buy as you kind of upgrade your team but yeah man we're gonna get into this drop a like on this video if you guys want to see more videos like these if we can hit 15 likes that'd be amazing subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your notifications on man we're gonna get into this and start on from the back our one and only goalkeeper for this video is going to be Lucas Fabianski. He's a West Ham goalkeeper, had a great season for them. Surprised he didn't get a team of the season, um, but he's going to get a nice upgrade to an 82 in my opinion. And he's just going to be a, a keeper that literally has everything you want at the start of the game. Now you might think, man, this guy's probably going to be OP. He's a, he's decent rating in the Prem. Usually since, since honestly, he's a, not a great uh, club and not a great nation FIFA-wise, I should say. No, no disrespect. Just saying FIFA-wise, he's not great for links. Um, he's going to be pretty cheap. And then usually goalkeepers are cheap. So, yeah, that, that's basically all you need to know. That's uh, the first player. Now we're going to go into the defense and start off with new signing. And Jolino, who had a team of the season last season, um, transferred back from PSV. I think he was on loan from City. Or no, he was at PSV, but City had the buyback clause, so they activated that. Um, now this card is going to be very nice. I think he might be a little expensive, but from the pace he left backs in the prem, he's going to be one of the best ones because he already has that dribbling and passing something like that uh, I would say Lucas Digne, um, Patrick Van Anhel don't have so Angelino is going to be a nice one to have and he's going to be that guy that kind of you, once you buy him he's going to be in your team until you can get one of the big boys which the Prem doesn't really have that many crazy good left backs um, even Andrew Ro Andy Robertson won't be like an amazing one in game um, but Angelino is going to be a nice one to hold you off and gets a bunch of Spanish links as well moving on to the third one we have one of my favorite ones another new transfer we have Jesus Vallejo I have upgraded him because him and Spain did win the U21 uh, World Cup. So, or is it the Euro? I think it was the World Cup. Might have been the Euro. I don't know. But they won a tournament, basically, the U21. He was part of it. He played center back. Uh, he didn't play much for Real Madrid. Very injury prone. But, man, he's transferred to Wolves on loan for the season. I th believe it is only the season. And he looks like he's going to be pretty decent, man. With good defending, good pace. He's not the tallest and not the most strong of players. But he's going to get the job done for the beginning of the game, in my opinion. And he gets a strong link to Angelino. So, I feel like it's just going to be all round good links and if you don't want to link it with angelino you can link him with our right back which is going to be darty which of course got a team of the season as well last season um in my opinion he's going to be just the guy to go for at right back because you can go for someone like deandre yedlin but i'd rather go for darty because he has the dribbling the passing the defending the physical decent pace just all around everything you want and I feel like he's going to be great to link up with a player like Vallejo if you don't want Vallejo I'm pretty sure Bal Bali um, was going to be in this video as well I was going to put him in I decided not to but Bali could have made it into this video and he could get a strong link to Vallejo or you could go for Vallejo, uh, Bali, and Rui Patricio. I feel like those three are going to be super good. Uh, but these are the four defenders I have gone for. We're going to get them off the screen. I was going to say out of the screen. We're going to get them off the screen and start off with the other three players. Starting off from the left, we're going to go for the guy who played today. Didn't make much of an impact in the game, but of course is a new transfer and we'll get a once to watch, which I was going to put in this video, but I decided to go for the gold card because I know people would get angry. We're going to go for Danny Ceballos who um, had a great start to the season and in the beginning of the game in my opinion um, he's going to be a very very good player um, especially with the dribbling and passing in FIFA 20 it's going to be very important for your midfielders to have that as their main stat which usually it is doesn't have much of a physical presence not the greatest pace or shooting uh, but going to be just kind of a fun player to kind of get your game uh, to kind of have at the beginning of the game and then going on kind of like the same thing uh, with Donny Ceballos we have a guy who had a great season in James Madison now 
if I had to pick in between James Madison and Downey Ceballos, I feel like as an attacking midfielder, you would definitely want to go for Madison uh, for but kind of like a box to box, not really box to box midfielder Ceballos would be kind of like the better one a little more agile as Madison is a bit more like direct towards goal I would say um but yeah, man, Madison had a great season as well, had a team of the season, uh, was linked to a lot of clubs, start, stayed at Leicester and in FIFA 20, in my opinion. He's going to be a great card, man, especially at that camp spot uh, more than anywhere else. At the center camp spot, where, how, however many camps you have in your team, Madison's going to be a great guy to go for in the beginning of the game. And then at left cam or left wing or left mid, whatever you're going, you're going to play, uh, this is another guy who's going to go really under the radar. He's going to be very cheap. He's going to have a five-star week foot he's going to have decent all-around stats i really recommend you guys go for him we have trezege who transferred from i think it was a turkish league club had a team of the season had a couple informs had a couple special cards whatever last season he transferred to a big club in aston via in the prem by big club i mean like in the prem just got promoted whatever um but he has a five-star week foot in fifa as a left mid, he's going to be great at the start of the game. I really recommend you guys go ahead and get him. If he, if his cards, if his card stats look anything similar to what they do here, I feel like he's going to be a great card, and I really recommend you guys go for him. And then we have our two final players, both French players, both forwards. This number one is one that can like go either way. He's a great card. He's going to be a pretty good card in my opinion but there's so many players similar to him where you can kind of just go for other players i have sebastian howard who transferred to west ham now he's gonna have good shooting good physical but that's basically it gonna feel like a truck on the ball similar to players like oliver Giroud, just how it has more pace uh similar to like tammy abraham similar to uh michi Bachuai, um similar to I don't know, someone else. I, I was thinking of something else, but I forgot, like Solomon Rondon, something like that. But Howard's going to be a great card, especially when a target man striker. Just keep in mind that heading isn't that great in this game. So you would have to play directly to him and then just shoot it at the goal or have him be an actual target man and lay it off to your wingers, such as his strong link in my boy St. Maximin, man. This guy is injured for Newcastle, I believe, at this moment in time. But his card in the beginning of the game is great going to be electrifying and in my opinion going to be one of the most overused right wingers in the game for at least the first couple months as he does have that pace the dribbling and then you can just put a dead eye on him a marksman something like that to boost that shooting the passing the physical whatever you want and he's just going to be a great player down the right hand side but yeah guys this is where i win the video i hope you guys did enjoy leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know which one of these premier league cheap overpowered beasts whatever um you're going to get into your team Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. And I'm out.